All right, here we go. Well, Matt, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Um, and we're just going to start off by talking about what your results have been um, so far with the program. I know you're, you're 26 days complete. Usually 20, I would grab you at the very end, but I want to just get this done now since you're doing so well. 26 days complete, and I'm about a half pound away from 30 pounds. Awesome. So you are 29 and a half pounds down. Yep. Uh, we haven't done measurements yet because we won't do that for a little bit um, for a little bit to come. But let's talk about the health benefits. Uh, where do you want to start there? What's What's the biggest health benefit you think you have? Well, the biggest health benefit is the, is um, all the aches and pains pretty much gone away. I'm about 90%. And especially what I've noticed is uh, walking has been a lot better. Uh, problems with ankle pain and foot pain have gone away. I've also noticed that uh, my, my posture has improved quite a bit. And actually, my gait, as far as walking gait, is... is has improved quite a bit from taking the weight off. Awesome. But also, uh, the, the amount of energy has increased a lot. Don't have a need to sleep as much. That's been a big plus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you were mentioning the other day that um, your wife used to get irritated with you, right? Oh, or, with you mean with sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, naturally. I mean, I, if, if I had to take a nap, there was a lot of things to get done, and that yeah. was frustrating. So, yeah, she's pleased with that. That's good. So were you having a nap, like... Just about every day? I'd have a nap every day, yeah. Every day, okay. Yeah. Even though you're still working and everything, you'd find time to... Well, yeah, sometime during lunchtime, I'd, I'd, part of my lunch would be a nap time. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So uh, aches and pains, 90% better, mm -hmm. which um, I think you already mentioned ankles. Plantar fasciitis is something you mentioned to me the other day. And, and also uh, reduction, actually elimination of sleep apnea. So that was a big, big plus. Yeah, tell me more about the sleep apnea. How long have you been having, you have to wear the CPAP device at night, right? Yeah, but I also have a sleep monitor that monitors my um, AHI, the, the sleep apnea, apnea hypopnea index. And uh, it went from about 14 and a half down to 0 0.6, which is a, essentially no sleep apnea. So that was a, that was a really nice result. Absolutely. Because... Um, I can just imagine wearing the device is somewhat... Yeah, it's a little, little clunky, a little cumbersome. Awesome, yeah. And it dries your mouth out. When when winter hits, you have to humidify. It's it's not good. Yeah, good timing then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good kind of timing. How long have you had the CPAP device? I'm going to say probably five years. Okay. Maybe, yeah. And then it's just, you're just done with it? Well, I've got to take a sleep test to prove that I can be done with it for insurance purposes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Awesome. How many days into the program were you when you decided that you thought you could be I'm, I'm going to say probably 15, probably two weeks in. About 15 days? Yeah. That's awesome. So CPAP, that's amazing. Um, will you tell me about neuropathy? Yeah, that was a big deal. Okay, so with neuropathy, the thing that's so frustrating, this is why I just felt like there was some nutrition problem that I had. I've been looking at, I actually got treatment for neuropathy for a while and then and then stopped. But the neuropathy is also about 90%. It used to really, it, it, it would affect my feeling of my feet and that would affect my balance. And when you get your feeling back in your feet, your balance really improves dramatically. So I think that was all really... All of this stuff was really tied to it to inflammation problems and an auto autoimmune disease problem and and I that's where I really felt like I needed to change what I was eating to get rid of all the poisons in my system right and now I, I've kind of psyched myself out into as far as sugars I feel like they're poison and that kind of helps me it's right you know kind of reframe that yeah reframe it as poison and it makes it a lot easier to avoid yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and describe what the neuropathy felt like to you, because for for some people the feeling of neuropathy uh -huh. feels different. So what did the neuropathy feel like? Well, to, you? to me, it feels like a, about a, a quarter inch thick leather on the bottom of your feet, really thick, um, really un, uh, not sensitive. Unless you go and step on something, then it hurts. Yeah. But but it's basically a numbing, and it also let's see how else could I explain it. There's some pain involved, a little bit of pain. But mostly it's the, the, the tingling and the feel like a, a little bit of sharp uh, pin pin prick, you know, type thing. Yeah. And then the other thing is that I've noticed more than, that, that's really bad when you go to sleep because you can't sleep when it's really bad. It just irritates you. So you take some pain pill, I'll take a, a, some ibuprofen or something like that. Right. And I've really avoided ibuprofen 
um, completely since I've about the last, I'm going to say the last uh, two weeks, I haven't done any ibuprofen, anything. That's great. And were you primarily taking that at night to help you sleep? Oh, yeah. So the neuropathy was there at night, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Much worse at night, but the you have the lack of sensitivity walking during the day, but then the pain for going to sleep at night. Yeah, and you walk a lot for your work, too. So yeah, was, some, I, I have to walk some distances sometimes, yeah. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah, that's an interesting sensation, right? That thick that thick layer. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Like, yeah, like and, and like you were saying, it was affecting your balance too because yeah. you don't have normal sensation. You just have that. You just yeah. You... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So exactly. Just, um, yeah, I know your balance has improved too. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. I think those were the big health benefits that I wanted to get. The other one that you had mentioned was something to do with your eyesight, though. You want to explain? Yeah. That a little okay. Bit too? So the, the thing that started all this autoimmune thing is is I had. Uh, um, hyperthyroidism. Yeah. I had to get tested and then they went and did some, uh, they uh, nuked my thyroid because of hyperthyroidism, which then caused you to be hypothyroid and uh, and taking uh, medicine, medication for that, you know. Yeah. But what, what it affected was it, I've got uh, thyroid eye disease and Graves disease and those two uh, problems really affect your eyesight and also cause your eyes to bulge out and they make your eyes feel dry and scratchy. But all of that stuff, if you take care of the uh, the problem with the food, you know, by having wholesome food, you don't have the autoimmune problems because there's all these allergies that I'm not even I'm not even certain what I'm allergic to. All I know is that when I clean up my my diet and eat the right things, then um, the pain goes away, the scratchiness goes away, and I've been getting treatment on my eyes, and that's gone great. And so that was a big, that was probably a bigger portion between that and the neuropathy, yeah. was how do you keep yourself from messing up your eyes any worse with thyroid eye disease? So, yeah. so it lets me cope with all that stuff with the side benefit of the weight loss. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, your health benefits have just been just far and away, been just, good. just awesome. And obviously losing 29 pounds. And been really good too. This is nice too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you think back to when you first started and you and I were kind of talking about the program, mm -hmm. um, what kind of concerns or fears did you have kind of going into it um, or that were kind of keeping yeah. you from just saying yes right away? Well, one was schedule. One was, is this the right plan? Is it? Is it? Is it from a nutritionist and all that stuff, if I got the right background of people, you know, that are, that are doing it. The other thing is, um, I was concerned that I could stay on something that I, I didn't want to get something that was was packets. First off, my first, uh, the first reason for getting on this diet was to fix the autoimmune problems, okay, and fix the aches and the pains and the feeling like I'm just getting old and sick instead of healthy. Yeah. So. I was concerned that I'd get something that could kind of retrain myself, and also from the from a from a nutrition standpoint, there's a lot of people, myself included. I mean, we think we know what to eat, but we don't really have something simple that we can make habits to, to do. So I wanted to avoid the packets, the the prepackaged meals, something that shows up at your. I wanted to learn how to how to cook, and that was a big deal that that you pointed out when I made a decision to go with it, and. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. It was just, uh, I've learned how to cook the right stuff and learned how to enjoy salads. You know, before coming into this, I hated salads. And now I'm looking at, it's almost like a lifeline. You know, when you look at, what do I do to make me healthier and feel better? If I, it used to be the salads don't taste good. The candy bar tastes great. And so does the McDonald's milkshake and the Big Mac. But what's interesting is is the, I guess it's the thought process. Do I want to be sick the rest of my years or do I want to be healthy? And uh, and that's what was kind of exciting thing is that you use real food, you train people how to uh, to eat the right food and even you learn how to cook the right food. And I, I like that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you have any other fears that like you, you wouldn't be able to do the program or it would be too difficult to do? Or did you feel like you were already in a pretty good spot mentally that as long as you felt like it was the right program, you would do it and you'd be successful? Before I signed on the dotted line, yeah, I, I made a decision. I, I knew what I wanted to do. I, I had a real strong 
will to make a big change. And that's, you know, that was probably the biggest part more than, more than the diet. I mean, I knew I was going to be uh, successful in some way, maybe not to this, certainly not to this magnitude. I was really surprised, yeah. but I knew that, that, um, this was a serious thing, you know, awesome. and your, uh, your lesson about burning the boats, uh, is about commitment, I think really hit home. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, we've talked a lot about the food, um, but uh, we do talk a lot about the mindset that it takes to actually make this work, right? Because for some people with the right mindset, this program is very easy, and for others, they struggle a little more. Well, from the mindset, the other thing is, is you start to learn how you can be in control of, your, of what you do, why you make choices that you make, and you, you start to learn that you're in charge of yourself. And to me, I've noticed as I started to, to one, be really... Uh, I've kind of followed to the letter of the of the program. As I started losing weight, my confidence started to increase, mm -hmm. and my ability to to communicate improved, and just a lot of things. Not only not only health benefits, but just your your mental state. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, not something I had intended. I know you've mentioned it to me a couple of times. Like you said, your confidence is better. Yeah, you feel more in control almost, right? Like you have control over your life a little bit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's awesome. Okay, well that's great. Um, sounds like we overcame most of your concerns right away, especially since you were so motivated, which is huge. Um, overall, what would you say, what do you like best about the whole the whole plan? Okay, so the best thing I like about the plan, obviously, I guess the best, first thing is that my pain's gone away and I know that this is gonna make me healthy. I, I think that that's probably the biggest thing is is the healthiness. The other thing that I, I thought was a real nice surprise, I had to go out of town to Seattle, so I had to go to airports and hotels and restaurants. And what really surprised me is that I knew enough from the diet to have four meals that were all healthy. And when I came back, I'd lost weight, another pound or yeah. something, something like that. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. So so I, I knew that I could continue on and I didn't I didn't grab any candy bars yeah. and and that was just exciting to feel like I could control that. That's great. And you know, you've been through this program for a while now. At any point were you hungry, would you say? Not that I can remember ever. I mean, okay. I I can't remember any place. I think that there was a couple times I was in the store walking by the candy bar aisle <laughs> looking at it. Uh, but you know, it's funny because after you've invested this and you've had this success, you look at some of this stuff, you say, you know what, I just don't want to go back. And that's why, you know, when you said burn the belt, boats, changing to a belt that doesn't have any more notches. When I, I not only threw out the belts, but the new belts I bought don't have any notches. I can't, Right. you know, you can't go back. Part of that psychological aspect, right? Yeah, part of that you, psychological aspect. You take the big clothes that you've shrunk out of and you get rid of them and uh -huh. you tell yourself you're not going back. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And going forward, I know this is still relatively new for you. What's your confidence level that you can maintain, not only maintain the gains you've made, mm -hmm. but continue to make progress with your health? Well, I think, I guess a couple of things. I, I want to lose about another 30 pounds at least. So I've, I've lost 30 pounds. If I could lose another 30 pounds, I would, I would love that. I guess I just got to play it by ear when your metabolism slows down and everything um, yeah. to see what happens. Although one thing that was a real shock is I got a, I got a, uh, I went and had blood work done, and I found out that I was low on my thyroid pills, and I'd been taking this diet losing weight even with a slow metabolism. Right. So it's only the last couple of days that I've bumped my thyroid yeah. thing. So I think I'm going to do fine. Yeah. Awesome. And we haven't really talked a lot you and I yet about. The next step with continuing no. and stuff. So I, I really, you probably don't have a crystal ball on that. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, my hopes are high. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, my last question for you, Matt, is just, um, what would you say to someone like you who does have some concerns? You know, they they want to feel better, they want to improve their their health, they want to lose the weight, but they're they're concerned or they're afraid or mm -hmm. they just don't think they can do it. What would you say to them now that you've now that you've gone through it? Well, I would say that it's surprisingly easy if you set your mind to it. And you, the thing is, the other thing is, is if you can follow it to get over the addiction, the addiction to sugar, the addiction to, 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 to all these bad things, the, the junk food, once you get 
over the addiction, just like being addicted to hydrocodone after surgery and stuff, you can feel that addiction and then you get off of it. It's part of the willpower problem, I think, has to do with the addiction to the foods. So right. I've talked to my brothers, both my brothers are interested in different parts of the United States, you know, they live in different parts. And I think that um, I think one of the two will probably do it. Great. That's awesome. That's great. And actually, one last question. What does your wife think about all this? She's pleased. Good. She's she's very pleased at work. I'm you know it's funny I'm kind of reinventing myself a little bit. And yeah. I think I think she likes that. Yeah, and you're mentioning she's very active. She's very healthy. Yeah, and she's very active. And, not, and the thing is, most of the stuff that she eats is is a lot of stuff I'm learning to eat. So I can match instead of having my junk food and her good food, my food's lining up with what she eats. Yeah. So that's good. That's great. Awesome. Well, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with you. Um, I really thank you for sharing your story, and I hope it inspires other people you know, to take the plunge. And if, like you said, um, yeah, I would encourage it. If you're ready for a big change, like that's who I want to work with. I want people who say, yeah, I, I don't, I wrote so many quotes down from what you just said, who, you know, going from um, feeling old and sick to healthy. And mm -hmm. you know, I think that if people are ready for that, then um, this program and I'm ready to take them through it. So of course I'll put all my links below the video, but thank you so much. I appreciate your, uh, your help. And with any luck, I'll continue working with you and we can do another video and, another 30 days and show people where you're at again. So. Very good. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks.